Hey y'all. I got a round ass head. This is not okay. Who? Okay. So title this email. This is another advice video. I'm sorry if you guys don't like these advice videos. Just don't watch them. So it says title this email says I don't know how to fall in love again. Hmm. I feel you. Well, actually, I don't feel you, but that's sad. <laughs> okay, so hey, Dana. So I was dating this girl about two and a half years now, and she was like everything I ever wanted in a woman and to be with. But she had someone else while we were together. Damn. That's tough. I am so sorry. Damn. People nowadays. Jesus. They recently got married. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, if I was you, I'd fall right into a depression. But don't do that. But damn. Damn. They recently got married and she seems very happy without me. Let me tell you something. Actually, no, I'm going to wait. <laughs> mm, damn, I don't even want to read the rest of this email. It's just making me sad. Okay. Okay, I got this. It's like I wasn't even a substitute her actions show me that she was just using me for somewhat company or i don't know but my problem right now is i'm really having i'm really have a hard time trusting not just women but people in general i know you're a woman but what's your best advice to change my perspective okay so first of all the woman that you was with i'm not gonna disrespect her or nothing even though she you know she kind of deserves it <laughs> But um, to me personally, it seems like you're not missing out on nothing. Why would you want a woman with no morals? Why? Tell me why. What are you missing out on? Yeah, you loved her, but why do you want a female who has no morals, doesn't respect herself, doesn't respect people who she's in, quote unquote, in love with? Why would you want a girl like that? Why? She's not worth it. So just know that you're not in any shape or form at fault here. Um, you did not lose anything. In the end, she's going to see what the hell she had. That's what they all see. That's what all of these people realize once they mess up a good thing. And nowadays, I will tell you, people do not have morals, bruh. My God, people are cheating left and right. People nowadays just want sex. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But make your intentions clear before you jump into a relationship or get somebody else's feelings involved. I shouldn't have to say that. People should already know that off the bat of their head. But, you know, people influence nowadays that sex is the best thing, whatever. You know, if y'all end up catching something, <laughs> that's on you guys. But anyways, they recently got married. That marriage is doomed. I know that for a fact. That marriage is doomed. It was doomed from day one. I just want to know. You better email me when they get a divorce. Actually, don't keep up with her. That's not. No. Don't do that. <laughs> I just. Ooh, no. No. She seems very happy without me. Honestly, let her be happy without you. She's going to get her karma regardless. Karma does not skip nobody. You might, like, say someone was cheating on someone, right? And that person never found out. That karma's always going to come around and bite them in the butt. And a lot of people do that nowadays where they use somebody for company rather than, you know, actual emotion. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, mistaken, you know, comfort with actual feelings I feel like a lot of people nowadays do that and that's why they're stuck in relationships they don't even want to be in. They're just, you know, when you're in a relationship and you're with that person every day, you get used to that routine. So it's like a routine that you're comfortable with and you can't really let go of that routine because, you know, it's stuck in your head that you have to do that every day, every day. So I feel like that's what she did with you, but 
you know, that is not in any shape or form okay. Regardless of what she did to you, she will get her karma. And from what I'm reading, she gonna get it pretty bad. She gonna get it pretty bad. I'm not, ooh, 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 ooh. If that was me, I would've slapped the hell out of her, but don't hit females. Don't, don't hit females, don't do that. Um. Hmm. Your problem right now is I'm really have a hard time trusting not just women. Honestly, I can see why you have a hard time trusting women, but at the same time, you cannot, you know, a lot of people, I will not sugarcoat anything. A lot of women and a lot of males nowadays, um, you know, don't know what they want. We're all still figuring what the hell we want in life. And I'm not excusing that or any, in any shape or form, but I'm saying that as like talking to you, like if we were friends or something, as a woman, I can personally say that not every woman is like that. You know, some people, you know, some women are actually loyal. And I know a lot of males are like, you know, girls are worse than guys. But, you know, I think nowadays it's equal, completely equal. And, you know, hmm, that's why it's so hard to get in a relationship nowadays because people just do not have morals. <sighs> I cannot stress that enough. But from like coming from a woman's perspective, not every girl is the same. Not every woman is the same. Um, you know, some people actually value loyalty and relationships nowadays, but not many do. My best advice to change your perspective is know that not every woman is the same. Not every male is the same. And know that this girl basically came into your life and taught you something that you're gonna need in your future. I feel like this was a lesson for you because everything, every valley you face in your life ends up becoming a lesson that you end up, you know, using for the for future, you know, situations. So I say don't, you know, hold this against every girl because, you know, what your ex did to you is not what the next person wants to do to you. And I feel like a lot of people get hurt one time and they close their heart forever to like everybody. And I don't think that's fair to yourself. Everybody deserves a real chance at love at the end of the day. It's an amazing thing. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, relationships aren't easy, but that girl, oh no, that girl needs some serious therapy because that was in no shape or form okay. And I just don't condone cheating whatsoever. I freaking hate cheaters. I do not respect them at all. Um, but coming from a woman, do not hold this against every girl because at the end of the day, you could be holding yourself back from, you know, actually experiencing that real love if you hold on to this grudge. You know, take the time to heal from this situation and really like observe, you know, what happened, how she was acting, how you were acting. You know, take the time to really you know, view everything from every perspective and see, you know, see what you can do better for the next relationship. I'm not saying you were bad or anything, but like I'm saying, like, as a person, you know, after every person, the next person eventually, you know, keeps getting better and better and better. So I say do not do, do oh God. <laughs> I say don't hold this against anybody. Do not treat anybody bad because of what your ex did to you it's not worth it you know yeah that's all I can really say take the time to heal from the situation and when you're ready to jump in another relationship you know take it slow be friends first you know and see where it goes from there but like I said you can't rush yourself to jump in another relationship if you're still you know hurt over what she did to you I mean it's always gonna hurt but at the end of the day if you really take the time to heal from what happened then your next relationship is going to be better just take the time and really observe the person and get to know them because i feel like a lot of relationships end up failing like that because you don't take the time to actually get to know them so you know if they do something shady during the relationship you know it's because you didn't take the time to you know get to know the person or maybe you did i'm not sure maybe it was just that girl she's just the you know uh 
but like I said, take your time, you know, take your time with the next girl, make sure you're ready to be in another relationship, because if you're not, then, you know, you're just going to end up repeating that cycle for another person, so I hope that this advice helped you in some shape or form, you know, yeah, I hope, I wish you the best of luck, and I'm really sorry that this dumbass girl did that to you, you did not deserve that, nobody deserves that, but she gonna get her karma, she gonna get her karma. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.